God is greater, our God is stronger, God you are higher than any other, that our God is healer, He's awesome in power, our God, sing it with me this morning church, our God is greater, our God is greater, and our God is stronger, God you are higher than any other, and our God is healer, he is awesome in power, our God. If our God is for us, sing it to him. And if our God is for us, what could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, what could stand against? What could stand, what could stand? What are you turn into wine? Come on, sing it with me this morning. What are you turn into wine? Open the eyes of the blind. There's no one like you. Sing it to him. None like you. And into the darkness you shine. Out of the ashes we rise. There's no one like you. There's none like my Jesus. None like you. Come on, sing it with everything you got. Our God, come on. Our God is greater, and our God is stronger. God, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer. He's awesome in power. Our God, if our God is for us, sing it to him. And if our God is for us, what could ever stop us? If our God is with us, what could stand against? What could stand? What could stand against? If our God, if our God is for us, what could ever stop us? God is on your side. You are anointed for victory, my friend. God is on your side. This battle belongs to the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, me and Pastor Amy cover your people in the blood of Jesus. We rebuke the devil that's coming against your people that's trying to reap havoc. We curse the enemy in the name of Jesus. We rebuke every principality, every power, every ruler of the darkness of this world, every spiritual wickedness in high places, the power of witchcraft, black magic, voodoo, over. We break it. The curse is broken by the blood of Jesus. It's broken in the name of Jesus. We pray for restoration in your marriage, in your family. We pray for healing. We pray over your finances that God give you a financial breakthrough. God sees the hardship that you are in. But the word of God declares in Philippians chapter 4 verse 19. Paul says, but my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. We pray over your help. We pray over what's troubling you that God deliver you. That God step in and turn things around. In the name of Jesus. Somebody say amen. Good morning to you wonderful partners and friends and our viewing audience. On this morning we are talking about your breakthrough is here. As we continue, you are anointed for victory. Come on, lift your hands to heaven and say, I'm anointed. I'm anointed for victory. I'm anointed for victory, not defeat. I'm not going under. I'm going over. I'm not going to lose. I'm going to win. In the name of Jesus. Watch this. In the book of Joshua chapter 6, the Bible says, And Joshua had commanded the people, saying, You shall not shout, nor make any noise with your voice, neither shall any word proceed out of your mouth until the day I bid you shout, then shall you shout. Now you got to understand. Jericho, 
they were facing Jericho. The walls of Jericho was huge, so huge that six chariots side by side could ride going in one direction. Man, it's like an interstate here in the U.S. Just the walls were just wide and thick, intimidating. Joshua did not have the manpower nor the equipment to knock those walls down, but God always has a winning strategy. Oh, I dare someone lift their hands to heaven and say, "Greater is He that's in me than He that's in the world." God is on my side. The walls are coming down. God is on my side. I will get the breakthrough. God is on my side and I'm anointed for victory. My God, God have some unusual victories to give to his people. So you have to understand the walls of Jericho. It was the entrance into the promised land. Listen, you're not going to enter into your promised land without a fight. There there are going to be things that will challenge you out of your wit's end. But Paul says, I can do all things through Christ. Matthew 19, 26 says, all things are possible to those who believe. Are you listening to me? No, no, sorry about that. I think I messed that one up. The Bible says, for with God, all things are possible. Matthew 19, 26. Mark 9, 23 says, all things are possible to those who believe. Do you believe? Now watch this. So Joshua, he's given the people orders. The walls of Jericho is huge. It's intimidating. So the ark of the Lord compassed the city going about it once, and they came into the camp and lodged in the camp. And Joshua rose early in the morning, and the priests took up the ark of the Lord, and the seven priests bearing seven trumpets of ram's horn before the ark of the lord went on continually and blew with the trumpets and the armed men went before them but the rare god came after the ark of the lord the priest going on and blowing with the trumpets and the second day they compassed the city once and returned into the camp and they did this for six days i dare someone said the last day is finally here now watch this And it came to pass on the seventh day that they rose early about the dawning of the day and compassed the city after the same manner seven times. Only on that day they compassed the city seven times. They're doing exactly what God tells them to do. Sometimes God will ask you to do some things that make you seem weird to everybody else. But you ain't weird. You're just walking in obedience. And what other people think, it really doesn't matter because it's you that's in the fight. It's you who needs the miracle. And obedience is better than sacrifice. To obey. We are called to obey. Yield to the Holy Ghost. Let the Holy Ghost lead you. Not my will, but your will be done, O Lord. Listen, those same people who are looking at you like you're crazy, when you get your breakthrough, ah, they're going to be right there wanting to celebrate with you and enjoy some of the reward. Are you listening to me? But you got to stand your ground. You got to stand on the word of God. You can't flinch. You just got to obey and leave the rest up to God. Now watch this. And it came to pass at the seventh time when the priest blew with the trumpets, Joshua said unto the people, shout for the Lord has given you the city. My God, shout. Come on, somebody. Raise that music for me. Somebody put your hands together and say, I got Victory. I got victory. Glory to God. They begin to shout with everything in them, and the Bible says. So the people shouted when the priests blew with the trumpets, and it came to pass when the people heard the sound of the trumpet, and the people shouted with a great shout that the wall fell down flat, so that the people went up into the city, every man straight before him, and they took the city, the walls that was keeping them from entering into the promised land. I'm going to see a victory. The walls that were keeping them from entering into the promised land. The walls that had hindered them for, for, for days, weeks. The wall came crumbling down. Now Joshua and the children of Israel can begin to conquer the promised land. They can begin to possess the land of Canaan. God told them every place that the soles of your feet shall tread. I'm giving it to you, Josh. Joshua said, take the city. The city is ours. And they conquered it in the name of the Lord. God is on your side. Your breakthrough is here. Every demonic wall of resistance be broken.
broken in the name of Jesus. Me and Pastor Amy join our faith with you. Every opposition, every spirit of unbelief and limitation, every frustration, every attack on your mind, your spirit, your soul, your body, even in your sleep, crazy dreams, I rebuke it. People treating you funny, looking down on you, resisting you, wanting to be used by the enemy, but God is on your side. God's giving you a breakthrough. Your breakthrough is here. Your breakthrough is here. Lift your hands to heaven and say, my breakthrough is here. Because I'm going to see a victory. Sing it to him. For the battle. For the battle belongs to you, Lord. Because I'm going to see a victory. For the battle. For the battle. The weapon may be formed. Sing it with me this morning. The weapon may be formed, but it won't prosper. Sing it with me. When the darkness falls, it won't prevail. I love him with all my heart. Because the God I serve knows only how to triumph. My God will never fail. And my God never fail my God will never fail and my God will never fail cause I'm gonna see a victory somebody help me give him praise this morning for the battle for the battle listen you are anointed for victory you are anointed for victory Lift your hands to heaven this morning. We want to give you an opportunity to support the preaching of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. To do so, you can visit us online right now at seanpinder.net forward slash give. You can also give through the ministry PayPal account. That address is paypal.me forward slash seanpinderministries. You can also text to give. All you have to do is text the letters SPM to the number 45888 and a link will automatically be sent to you. You can also give through the Ministry Zell account. The Ministry Zell email address is info at seanpinder.net. You can also give through the Ministry Cash App account. The Ministry Cash App address is the dollar sign Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also mail your donations into the ministry. Just remember to make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries, P.O. Box 2726, McKinney, Texas, 75070. And we want to say you have been doing a wonderful job at helping us spread these videos around the world. Continue to help us share it. We want to reach at least a million people a month with the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. But we can't do this by ourselves. We need you to like these videos. We need you to comment. We need you to share them with at least five people. Just do it. You can do it. Come on. We can do this. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. We love you. We are praying for you. We are believing God for your breakthrough. We are believing God for your miracle, for your turnaround. Join us on tomorrow as we continue anointed for victory. And on tomorrow, we are talking about no more bondage. We love you. God bless you. Take care. Bye-bye.